Michael Cohen sues the Trump Organization on Thursday, saying that after Cohen began cooperating with federal investigators, the company failed to fulfill its contractual obligations to indemnify him or pay his legal bills relating to his work for the firm. Cohen an executive at the Trump Organization until early 2017, when he left that post to work as Trump's personal attorney alleged in the lawsuit the company is obligated to pay both his legal bills, which now total at least $1. 9 million and another $1.9 million dollars he owes as part of a criminal sentence he received late last year. Cohen incurred legal bills from several law firms starting in 2017, when he began to face multiple inquiries, including congressional hearings, civil lawsuits, the investigation from special counsel Robert Mueller, and, by 2018, a criminal probe from the Manhattan U.S. Attorney's Office. In July 2017, according to the lawsuit filed in the New York State Supreme Court, the Trump Organization agreed to indemnify Cohen and to pay his attorney's fees and costs in connection with related investigations. The Trump Organization and Mr. Cohen were proceeding pursuant to a joint defense at that time with respect to the investigations and other matters, the lawsuit says. Cohen said the company initially fulfilled its obligation, paying $137,460 to a firm that initially represented him, McDermott Will and Emery LLP, in October 2017, which amounted to half of the invoices he had received. The Trump Organization then promised that the Trump presidential campaign would pay the remainder the following day, according to the lawsuit. The company then continued to pay all or part of McDermott's fees and costs through May 2018, according to the lawsuit. At that point, Cohen himself was facing a criminal investigation by the Manhattan U.S. Attorney's Office, but he hadn't yet spoken to investigators, according to court filings. Through that June, the Trump Organization continued to pay his legal bills to McDermott, which totaled more than $1.7 million that month, however, while Cohen was facing multiple criminal probes, he began telling friends and family that he was willing to cooperate with the special counsel and federal prosecutors in connection with the Southern District of New York investigation, the lawsuit says. The expectation that Mr. Cohen would cooperate with the special counsel following the departure of McDermott as his counsel was widely reported that month. And that month, the company stopped paying the bills Cohen incurred at the McDermott firm, according to the lawsuit. Over the following weeks and months, which included a period during which Cohen spoke multiple times to federal investigators and pleaded guilty to eight felonies in which he implicated Trump, the president publicly distanced himself from his former attorney. That evolution culminated in a December tweet by Trump, saying, Remember, Michael Cohen only became a rat after the FBI did something which was absolutely unthinkable and unheard of until the witch hunt was illegally started. They broke into an attorney's office. Mark Mucasey, a lawyer for the Trump Organization, said, The Trump Organization doesn't owe Michael Cohen one penny of legal fees. This is a desperate money grab by a desperate convicted felon. The lawsuit alleges that as a result of the Trump Organization's wrongful refusal to pay McDermott's invoices under the indemnification agreement, McDermott ultimately withdrew from its representation of Mr. Cohen, 